A cyst is an abnormal sac in the human body that contains fluid, gas, or semi-solid material. Depending on the type of cyst, they can be caused by hereditary conditions, organ defects, fluid buildup due to obstruction of ducts, and more. Cysts are sometimes confused with tumors, as they can look and feel similar. However, there are a few ways to distinguish them. Cysts are usually tender and can be moved around easily, while a tumor is usually firm and cannot be moved around easily. Doctors use diagnostic procedures such as MRIs, CT scans, and biopsies to examine and identify the lump and decide the course of treatment. Let's talk briefly about some types of cysts. A Calaisian, also known as a Maybomian cyst, is a type of cyst that develops on the eyelid due to obstruction of an oil gland. Calaisians can cause swelling and redness in the affected eyelid and can even put pressure on the eye and cause blurred vision. A colloid cyst is a type of cyst that develops in the third ventricle of the brain. These cysts can block the flow of cerebrospinal fluid and lead to a condition called hydrocephalus. Colloid cysts can also cause other symptoms like headaches, vertigo, and vision problems. A ganglion cyst, also known as a Bible cyst, is a type of cyst that usually develops on the wrist, but can also develop on the knee and foot. This cyst is thought to be caused due to repeated injuries or stress on the wrist. Hydatid cysts are a symptom of hydatid disease, a parasitic disease caused by tapeworms. These cysts usually develop on the liver or lungs and can put pressure on the surrounding tissue structures, causing pain. If they rupture, they can also cause deadly allergic reactions. A Baker's cyst is a fluid-filled cyst that forms in the back of the knee. Baker's cysts usually form alongside conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, gout, and meniscus tears. Excessive accumulation of synovial fluid in the space behind the knee causes this cyst. Ovarian cysts are fluid-filled cysts found in the ovaries. These cysts are common and can form due to hormonal changes. They are usually painless and resolve on their own. Pilar cysts, also known as tricholemal cysts, are keratin-filled cysts that usually form on the scalp. The condition of having pilar cysts can be genetic, with an autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance. Pilonidal cysts are cysts found in the tailbone area. They can be congenital or formed due to the infection of a hair follicle. This cyst can cause pain, inflammation, and redness in the area. Pancreatic pseudocysts are collections of pancreatic fluid found near the pancreas. They are usually complications of acute or chronic pancreatitis. Some medical professionals do not consider these to be real cysts, as they don't have the same cells as the one present in other cysts. Because of this, they are called pseudocysts. Are all of these cysts harmful? Usually cysts are benign and don't pose harm to the person. However, some cysts can be cancerous and indicative of tumors. Cysts can also get infected and become an abscess, a pus-filled sac. For these reasons, physicians usually recommend seeking medical attention if any abnormal lumps are found in the body. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to like, share, and subscribe.